ओके हेलो एवरीवन आई वेलकम्स टू ऑल इन अनदर न्यू लेक्चर बिलोंग्स टू न्यूक्लियर फिजिक्स दैट इज योर डीएससी पेपर टू फिफ्थ सेमेस्टर बीएससी सिलेबस इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस कंस्ट्रक्शन एंड वर्किंग ऑफ फोटो मल्टीप्लायर ट्यूब इन शॉर्ट इट इज रिटर्न एज पीएमटी ओके सो लेट स्टार्ट सो हियर यू कैन सी द एंटायर कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ द फोटो मल्टीप्लायर actually the photo multiplier used to detect by amplifying the low energy signal or low energy electromagnetic wave or low energy photons we know electromagnetic wave are nothing but photons and the basic principle for the amplifying or for the amplification is the ejection of secondary photo electrons by photoelectric effect so how it is works that we are going to discuss in detail in this video okay so for the construction we need the four basic instruments or parts we can say that is your ultra high vacuum glass tube this one is your ultra high vacuum glass tube placed horizontally we need ultra high because ultra high vacuum to minimize the contaminant inside the glass tube one photo cathode this is the cathode which is negatively biased or negative voltage given to this cathode dynodes here this is one dynode 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 are placed in such a way that the first dynode is given 100 volt the second one is given positive this is positive 100 volt 200 volt 300 volt and so on okay actually i am going to uh, give you one suggestion that here i uh, represented three dynodes but in the note you can see you are going to construct this figure here four one two three four five dynodes are there uh, this figure you are going to construct in your note okay but for the explanation i considered this figure okay so here we i consider three dynodes only so this is the cathode these are the three dynodes uh, first dynode is given 100 plus positive 100 volt second one plus 200 300 like that okay the last electrode is your anode which will collect the electrons high speed or high flux electron and will be detected by the emitter how we are going to uh, discuss step by step so here when a low electromagnetic radiation will be incident on this cathode due to photoelectric effect a electron will be ejected from this cathode and here one thing you have to remember this cath this cathode is made by the metal which have low work function low work function so a low energy electromagnetic radiation will be fall then easily one electron will be ejected from this cathode these things i have been written in the note you should not be worry so here this is called as the ejection of secondary electron so as this dynode is at positive potential 100 volt this dynode will attract this electron towards itself like this when this electron will be interact with this dynode again this dynode will be eject the secondary electrons so one electron interacted two electrons ejected now these two electrons again will be attracted by the second dynode which is at higher potential higher positive potential than the first dynode so these two electrons will be attracted towards the second dynode like this <coughs> with higher speed because this is 100 volt this is 200 volt so obviously with high speed this dynode will be attract these two electrons okay so when these two electrons will be interacted with this second dynode we can get four electrons four uh, ejected of secondary electrons 
so this is nothing but called as your multiplier of secondary electrons multiplier of secondary electrons means here one electron interacted two electron came out two electron interacted four electron came out so each time it is multiplied with two only for that it is it is named as photo multiplier okay now these four electrons will be attracted by the third dynode which is at higher potential than the second dynode so as it is higher potential then these four electrons will be attracted or accelerated we can say accelerated with a high speed as compared with previous as like this so <clears throat> these things already we have been uh, perceived in our discussion or understood in our, in our discussion that acceleration increases each time due to increase of dynode potential so as dynode potential increases 100 to 200 so acceleration also increases from one dynode to another dynode okay now here you can see when these four electrons interacted with third dynode then six, eight electrons or eight secondary electrons are ejected from this third dynode as a node is connected with a high voltage high positive voltage then this anode will be attract these secondary electron finally towards itself with a high speed so here you can see each time the speed or the acceleration increases due to increase of dynode potential due to increase of dynode potential so in this way we amplified the current here you can see one electron moved with a particular speed and that speed increased from first to second if increased that means current increased here two two way current increases the speed of the electron increases and number of the electron also increases so in this way the current amplified okay so as this anode is at positive potential then it will attract these electrons from the dynode towards itself and these electrons will be flow through the circuit and detected by the ammeter so this is nothing but called as your amplified current will be detected by the ammeter whatever the amplified that means the low current that means only one electron with a low speed finally large number of electron with high speed in this way the signal the incident electron low 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 energy signal amplified detected by the ammeter if you want to detect by the voltage drop here is the resistance connected you can measure the voltage drop across this resistance so two way we can measure the signal by voltage drop or by emitter so this is the whole, whole process which is going on inside this pmt tube so i suggest to all of you that watch carefully this video and draw this figure this figure in your note so download the note link already given in the description in pdf format you can download the note uh, thank you so much for watching this video thank you